Okay, welcome back for another Beyond ATC tutorial in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and today we're at the brand new Pyrigi Birmingham scenery which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is us at gate 58. Uh, so I've actually been on holiday and whilst I was away Beyond ATC added a really exciting feature in their experimental build where we can use the CPDLC data link in the Phoenix A320 to request our pre-departure clearance. So I thought I'd put a quick video together to show you guys the steps needed to get it up and running. So there is our stunning Lufthansa A320 on stand, already and waiting for us. Now you do need to update the Phoenix to the latest version for this to work correctly as well. And for Beyond ATC, just to point out again, CPDLC is only available in the experimental release and station logins and pilot requests aren't yet supported, but that is coming in a future update. Uh, so for now, it's just the pre-departure clearance, which is still a really cool feature. So let's hop inside the flight deck and show you the setup. Right, so the first step is then, uh, I'm going to open Beyond ATC, so let's fire that up. And if we look bottom left of the screen, I'm running the experimental build. Uh, if you've not got that message, then you need to go into your account setting here, and we can select which version we want to run. So there we've got early access or experimental, uh, so that's the version I'm running. And if you haven't got the experimental version, you can upgrade to the Beyond ATC supporters pack here, uh, which is an extra $29.99, which is what I've done. So we've got the correct version, let's click on fly and get Beyond ATC started. Beyond ATC connected. And just while that loads up, we'll go to step two, which is to open the Phoenix app. And we need to go to where it says ACAS service at the top here. And you can see by default we've got the Hoppy system selected. We need to drop that down to Beyond ATC. And then we're going to click on the apply button. So we'll do that. Now I've done this before, so I'm going to get two green ticks, you can see there. But if you're doing this for the first time, it will ask you to restart the Phoenix app. Uh, but there's no need for us to do that today. We're all set and ready to go. So uh, let's close down the Phoenix app. There we go. And Beyond ATC is just about ready. So we will bring that to the top. Let's wait for it to initialize. And there you go. So it's all synced up with Simbrief. You can see it's got my Lufthansa 107 call sign. And I've also imported the flight plan into the EFB. In the plane which you can see there and let's just double check our OFP because I want to find our call sign which is uh, just here so DLH 107 and we're going to need to remember that for when we ask for our pre-departure clearance. Okay so let's turn our attention to this little screen above the MCDU. Now this is where the CPDLC uh, text messages are going to appear from ATC and you can see on the MCDU I have also uh, filled out the init page already. Uh, so we've got our routing, we've got our call sign there, and we've got our cost index and also our cruise altitude at flight level 370. So that all has to be filled in before we can ask for our clearance. We also need to check our ATIS frequency, so 136030. So let's just wind that in on our radio. So we've got 136 and we'll wind that up to 0. Three zero. Birmingham Airport information X-ray. One eight one one Zulu. Wind one one zero at five. Ceiling and visibility okay. Temperature three zero. Two point zero nine. QNH one zero one tree. Landing and departing runway tree tree. Transition level zero six zero. Advise on initial contact. You have information X-ray. So that is our ATIS all sounding good and we've got information x-ray so let's head down to the MCDU menu and then we're going to click on ATSU and then we're going to go across to AOC menu top right and then we're going to click on the ATC request button and we can see we've got pre-departure clearance uh, and we've also got oceanic clearance but it's only the pre-departure that's working so we'll click on that and then we need to fill out this screen so our route is echo golf bravo bravo slash uh, Echo Delta Delta Foxtrot, so Birmingham to Frankfurt. Uh, our flight number, as you remember, was uh, Delta Lima Hotel 107. Drop that in top right. Then we need to add in our stand number, which is 58. And then we need to add our ATIS information, which was X ray. We'll drop that in. And then we've got this option to add some free text. So uh, let's add in uh, Good Day. It's nice to be nice, isn't it? So we can drop that in. And then we can add our aircraft type, uh, which is an A320. 
and that goes in bottom left. And then finally we add in our station, which is Birmingham, so Echo Golf Bravo Bravo. And that is our PDC request page complete. So now we've got a little asterisk by send, so we'll click on that. And that's just cleared that message now. And if we look at uh, our Beyond ATC window, it's showing our request has gone through. So we just need to wait for ATC to respond. So there we are, we're cleared to Frankfurt, runway 33, expect vectors after departure, squawk 5320, we've got information x-ray, when ready call 121.805 if unable revert to voice. So that all seems to have worked okay, and now we just need to wait for it to come back through to the Phoenix. And there we go, we've got a call from ATC, we've also got a little blue light letting us know we have an ATC message, and if we go down to our CPDLC screen, our clearance has also come through as a text message there, so we've got our runway, our squawk, and our next frequency, uh, so that all looks good. So let's press Wilco bottom right, and then that just sends the message to the top right, and then we can press the send button, which confirms back to the controller that we have received our clearance, and we're happy with everything. And there we go, ATC have come back with our request status confirmation, and that all looks good. So again, we just need to wait a couple of seconds for that to come back through to the Phoenix. There we go, right on cue, and we've got our little ATC message again. So back down to our clearance page, and we can just scroll down. So there we go, that's our ATC request status, uh, DLH107, CDA received, clearance confirmed. So we can close that window down. So there we go, that is our pre-departure clearance, all complete, using CPDLC. It's pretty straightforward to do, but really handy, especially if the controllers are super busy. You don't have to worry about stepping on other pilots' comms or anything like that. You can just wait for clearance to come through whilst you continue to set up the plane. And again, it's just another layer of realism you can add to your flights, which is always a good thing, right? OK, so we're all set up and ready. We've received our clearance, so it's about time to call the ground controller and request our push and start so I will leave it there for today I hope you enjoyed the video maybe you learned something new if you did do consider giving it a like subscribe and I will see you in the next one thanks very much for watching bye bye